Hi, welcome back to the course. My name is Bhushan. In the previous video, we have written an insert query in our mapper.xml file. And in this video, we are going to attach a button in the least employees page so that when the user click on the button, it has to navigate to the another JSP where the user will enter the employee record. So let's see how we can do that. So inside the least employees.jsp, just below the heading tag, I'm going to create a button. So to this button, I'm going to attach an on-click event. And I'm going to call window dot location dot href. And I'm going to pass a string, which is nothing but the request mapping show forum for add employee dot html so now using this string i'm going to create a method in the employee controller and i'm going to attach a request mapping with this name so inside the employee controller i'm going to create a public method and i'm going to call this show form and I'm going to attach a request mapping to this request mapping we will be passing the string which we have added to the on click event and inside this I'm going to create a model and view object the model and view constructor I'm going to pass the JSP page name add employee. Of course, this add employee is not at exist. We're going to create this in a bit. And I'm going to return the model and view object. And we need to create a employee object as well because when the user click on the add employee button, we have to create an employee object and we need to add it to the model object. So I'm going to call a add object method and I'm going to provide the key and the value pair, the key, and I'm going to call this employee value. I'm going to create a employee object. So now we have added this employee object to the model and view object. Now we are going to create a JSP page inside the JSP's folder. And I'm going to call this add employee dot JSP. And inside this, I'm going to add a heading tag add employee let's save this I'm going to save the list dot list employees dot JSP as well let's save this and I'm going to add the value which is add employee let's save this and I'm going to run the application again all right the application is started I'll directly go to the browser and I'm going to reload the web page and you can see a button just below the heading tag and I'm going to click this add employee this should open a new JSP and you can see that the heading tag add employee so now we are able to navigate to the add employee JSP. So in the next video, we are going to add a form to this JSP and we are going to enter the employee record. So that is coming up in the next video. We'll see you in the next video.